Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I want to talk about sunscreen and its importance in protecting our skin. And I will also be sharing with you my top 5 uh, sunscreen that I absolutely love, which are all mineral sunscreens that I think is beneficial for all you ladies who are wearing makeup on an everyday basis. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. I do beauty and fashion videos and I would love to have you back. I also have an Instagram account, Urban Style Chic. Follow me there. So let's get started. Actually, there are two types of sunscreen, the chemical and the mineral sunscreen. Each type uses a different mechanism for filtering UV rays and protecting the skin from damage. And because summer is here, it's time for family picnics, poolside activities, and days at the beach. Having our time in the sun is great for family banding, boosting our mood, and grabbing some much needed vitamin D. But a day in the sunshine does not come without its risk. The sun exposes us to UV rays, so it is important to wear our sunscreen regularly. So let me walk you through the skin protection that I'm talking about. The first one is chemical sunscreen. Chemical sunscreen are easily absorbed and sit in the deeper layers of our skin. What it does, it absorbs the UV rays that penetrate our skin and change them into heat, then release the heat from the skin. And because chemical sunscreens take about 20 minutes to be effective, planning is required. Let me tell you about the pros and cons of this sunscreen. Some of the pros are, less product is needed per application to offer protection. It also has a thinner texture and easier to spread on the skin. Therefore, it applies invisibly. On the flip side, the cons are it can be problematic for sensitive and rosacea-prone skin as well as for individuals with hyperpigmentation. The heated skin can cause an increase in existing brown spots as well. Also, chemical sunscreens can clog pores because it contains active ingredients like avobenzone, oxybenzone, octocrylene, and ecamsul, which is proven to have health risk for a long-term use. Then on the other side, we have the mineral sunscreens, which I like. Mineral sunscreens sit on top of the skin surface acting as a physical blocker by deflecting UV rays right away from the skin like tiny mirrors. It protects us against both UVA and UVB rays. So for those who are not aware of the difference between UVB and UVA rays, UVB rays only penetrate the outer layers of our skin, causing superficial inflammation and damage like sunburn. While UVA rays penetrate the deeper layers of our skin, because of their longer wavelength, it can cause deeper damage and increased risk of cellular changes that can lead to skin cancer. And since mineral sunscreens sit on the skin surface and are effective as soon as they are applied, there is no need to wait. However, mineral sunscreens can easily be rubbed and rinsed off, so frequent reapplication is necessary. By the way, the mineral sunscreen active ingredients are zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, which is considered to be safe and effective by the FDA, partly because it's not being absorbed through the skin and does not enter the bloodstream. So how do we make the best choice? Various factors influence the type of sunscreen best suited for our needs and uses. Here are some basic guidelines to keep you healthy and sunburn free. Look at the ingredients. The most studied for clinical safety and effectiveness are the mineral sunscreens with ingredients of zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. If you opt 
for chemical sunscreen, then avoid ingredients like oxybenzone if possible. Then choose lotions. Although spray sunscreen options are more convenient, use a lotion-based sunscreen to reduce inhalation and lung exposure. Consider usage. If you'll be in direct sun much of the day, then a mineral sunscreen is the best bet, especially if you have a skin condition like acne, rosacea, and sensitive skin. But if you will be sweating or swimming, then you will reapply a sunscreen frequently, so you might want to consider a chemical sunscreen. Don't focus on SPF numbers. The SPF rating can lead to misuse and an assumption of safety. It is far more effective to apply a low SPF product properly than to rely on poor application of a high SPF product. So it's a matter of how frequent you will be applying Apply at least every two hours. Apply properly. If you are using mineral sunscreen, apply a solid layer for optimal coverage. When using a chemical sunscreen, apply at least 20 minutes before sun exposure. Don't skip it. Any sunscreen is better than no sunscreen at all in protecting our skin from harmful UV rays. So if you were to ask me, my personal choice is the mineral sunscreen. Here are the top 5 on my list that I've tried which I think are effective and will not leave any white cast on your face. Fifth on my list is the Avene Mineral Sunscreen SPF 50. Fourth is the La Roche-Posay Mineral Sunscreen SPF 50. Third goes to Skin Medica Mineral Shield SPF 32, which is tinted. Second on my list is the Super Group Matte Screen SPF 40, which is great for summer and for people with oily skin. And for the best sunscreen, in my opinion, that doesn't leave any white cast and thus easily absorbed by our skin, goes to Elta MD Ultra Clear SPF 46. Skin cancer is the most common form of cancer in the United States because we all love to spend more time in the great outdoors. So we should never skip our sunscreen and I made that mistake when the last time we were in Michigan and we did our kayak tour. I neglected certain parts of my body and so I told myself that I would never look at sunscreen in the same way ever again. I hope you find this video helpful. Please give it a like and let me know what's your favorite sunscreen in the comment section down below so I can try it as well. By the way, I also have another YouTube channel. It's 50 States Traveler. Its content is all about travels. It will show you those beautiful places here in the United States that you might want to visit and take your next vacation. I'll see you there. And as always, thank you for watching and see you on my next one.